Looking hot. Looking hot. That's not hot. <laughs> See you all right. <laughs> Sit up straight. Just look at me. Am I in focus? You are in focus now. Okay. Pretty hard, so. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I edit um, a drone shot. So this was taken at Noosa about a year ago and I want to show you how I turn all the yellow and green water into a beautiful aqua blue color. Um, I'll also use one of my presets that I've created recently and you can find those in the download link below. So let's get started. So this is the photo we're going to edit today. And I'm going to start by using my Blue Water 3 preset. Um, so um, this is the final image um, that I have finished editing in Lightroom. I don't really need to go into Photoshop today because I'm happy with um, what I've done so far in Lightroom. I'll show you the before photos. So this is what it looked like um, to start with straight out of the camera. So this was a drone shot taken at Noosa. Um, so you can see how drones kind of give you that um, greeny kind of look to the water, um, even though it was this beautiful blue colour on the day. Um, so that's what I wanted to try and get the photo back to um, once I processed it. So we'll start from scratch and I'm going to begin with using the Blue Water 3 preset that I've created here. And you can get that preset in my Lightroom and um, Photoshop Action Pack 1 on my website and I'll link that down below. So you can see this kind of put a blue tinge over everything here. So it's made the water nice and blue. So that's what we want and but we want to kind of um, tidy up this bit here so with presets um, you do need to adjust a few settings once you've used them and they are going to look different on each um, photo that you use them on um, so I want to bring back a bit of warmth to the sand here so I'm just going to put a filter over this section so I just clicked the graduated filter and I'm dragging from right to left and I'm going to increase the temperature to about that. So you can see it's brought a, brought a bit of warmth back into that um, sand there. Um, I'm going to play around with a few other settings as well. Um, so yeah, you can see here, these are all the settings from the preset. So that is all fine. I think we'll stick with all of those for now. And the only other thing I want to do is just use a brush. And I'm going to hit the O key and just brush over the sand here. Turn the O key off and I'm going to choose a colour from down here just to make the sand a little more in the peachy tone. Um, so that looks pretty good. So this colour here is what um, is being put over the sand area there. And then I'm going to just paint over the water here as well. And just turn the O key on. And just paint that whitewash there because it was looking a little bit bluish. And I'll just increase that to about five. Maybe not that high, maybe seven, that looks good. Okay, so you can see that's a really quick and easy edit um, just by using that blue water preset. So it's taken all the hard work out of um, having to get that 
um, blue water back manually using the hue saturation and luminance sliders which can be quite um, painful at times so yep just whacked on the preset there and just um, touched up the sand here to bring a bit of warmth back into it um, and I'm really happy with that um, there we go hope you enjoyed Thanks for watching guys, I hope you learned a lot from this video and stay tuned for next week's video which is a sunrise shot um, with lots of pastel colours. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and get so that you get notified about that one coming up and I will see you next week. Bye!